and we're back fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm C and this is Joel. Just Joel. And this time we've got the top t 10 best fixed blades of the year 2021. And we're raring to go on this list so the fixed blades are going to be from brands like Tor. Yeah we went there. Sog, Paul Niven, Defcon, EOS, Joker, Bradford, Cold Steel, and Zabibi. And Boker. Mm -hmm. We are keeping this list reasonable. Thought about how usable the knives are, the quality, price kinda, and of course all personal thoughts on design and look. Most importantly. We've also got the honorable mention list that we always do. You wanna give parameters there? Or do you think we gave them? You know what? I think that was pretty good. You think so? Yeah. Alright. Cause there are so many good knives, we don't have time to give them all a number, of course. I can see that. Yeah. Be the top 50 knives of 2021. And it's a two-parter. It'll be old by then. Yeah. Did we <laughs> make right. this joke last I time? I believe we did. Yeah, well, who's on first never gets old. So I say on with redundancy. Let's start with number 10 on the list. The Boker Bison. This was a personal pick of mine. You can say I that forced C into <laughs> it. Okay? There's lots of reason. First, it looks beautiful. Pictures nicely, too. But that's not why I chose it. Okay. <laughs> Both the G10 option and the Gu Guayaca wood yeah, option are functional, functional as they provide a good grip as well as they're easy to remove scales for cleaning. Specs on this one is real quick. Uh, just to give you an idea, it's 9.25 inch overall with a 4.13 inch bowler in 695 satin finish blade with jimping and a finger rest for precision cutting. Look at that. It's also full tang. That's important. And it's outfitted with lanyard hole and a leather belt sheath. There it is. Made in Argentina. It starts at only 101.21. At langknife.com. Okay, so not only is it gorgeously designed and made, but the blade steel isn't something we see super often. However, you guys will be happy to know that this steel is actually used on many different types of survival knives. I mean, you got blades from Boker, Joker, Kudman, and Linder. They all use this steel. Mm -hmm. So this steel is like compared to like VG10. And it's a much improved version of 440C. It does have so. something in common, too, with the other side of the planet there. Uh -huh. The best thing to come out of Argentina since Messi, it has good toughness, very high wear resistance, good polish ability, and good corrosion resistance. Look However, it's, Three goods. Yeah, it's not higher on the list because there's some higher stuff we usually like to see on the more durable survival blades. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we're moving to number nine. Yeah. This is kind of like the AKC. We judge you against breed. That's great. That's a good way of putting it. That's great. Number nine is what? The Defcon fix blade. There it is. Lots of options for this knife, and the price is unbelievable. For this year, especially. Mm -hmm. They've got the carbon fiber options as well as the G10. It's about, I would say, nine inches overall. It's got a four inch gray finish D2 steel blade. There's a lanyard hole. Mm -hmm. As well as the black Kydex belt sheets. Got different carry options there. And they're only $44.98 at AtlantaKnife.com. Cheap plug. All right. You You'll get used to it. What you think? Yeah, I really like this knife. I know. I think we could have wedged it on in there at number five. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I really do like this knife. I like the handle, how it's made. It's easy to uh, get a good grip on. I like the size of it. Can't beat it. Yeah, I think last time you said you wanted to have liked them flush yes. or something. Yeah. That's but we downside. really liked that. Oh, yeah. The lip on the sheath makes it really easy to come off. It's got a good look. Kind of reminds me of like the Civivi Imperium with the silver flex and the carbon mm -hmm. fiber. So very snazzy. You can still use the blade for outdoor work or any type of survival needs. I mean, D2 has a very high wear resistance, hardness, good toughness. The edge of this bad boy is going to last a while. Great edge retention. Only downside is because D2 is pretty hard, a little more difficult to sharpen, say with the whetstone. However, there are many sharpeners out there made to handle D2 with finesse without breaking the bank. So Defcon got the great budget fixed blade. Mm -hmm. Nice hard use D2, catchy colors, but little difficult to sharpen, couple of uh, presentation issues, just a little, and there's no jimping. Yep. No jimping. I want jimping. I'm sorry. Jimping will hurt you every time. You know. Go ahead. All right. Next is our number eight pick. The Cold Steel Drop Forge Bowie. You hear some people groaning right now. Yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's part of the extensive, extensive series done by Cold Steel, the Drop Forge line. Bowie isn't subtle about its length. It screams swashbucklers, okay? And pirates. Yeah, it's like 14 inches overall. 
So this boisterously designed Bowie has a nine and a half, 52 100 clip point blade, hollow grind, plain edge that got the gray finish, 0 0.23 inches thick. The handle features imitation stag within the single drop forge piece, a lanyard hole for on the go options. And it comes with this black secure X belt sheath. Nice. Sheath. And this, this is probably what made it it's 8584. Mm -hmm. From AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah, so. All right, so this ahead. knife to me is more collectible than usable, but it is usable. And at 85 bucks, mm -hmm. I mean, you could just go ahead and use it if exactly. you want. But due to popularity, size, this was one of the nicest uh, large knives we yeah. had this year. They, it kind of reminds me of like the great, they did a great deal, like the Chaos Bowie and the Wild West Bowie, mm -hmm. both of which were popular and both were well worth the money. I mean, this knife. I would get from Cold Steel, hold up and say, wow, I took them to the cleaners. I mean, this size of a knife for 85 bucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, you will be using this thing to hack your way through any jungle. Okay? Remember, it started off way more. Eh? Like 115. And then it wouldn't have made a list. <laughs> Except, you know, if you're talking about your urban uh, yeah, jungle. Yeah, I wouldn't be using it there. Instead of, like, finding some food or making a shelter, you'd be finding yourself a lawyer <laughs> and making one phone call. Not to your mother-in-law. Trust me. But you can definitely get some stuff up with this. On the other hand, it made number eight because as much as we like this knife and you could use it, we would find ourselves just displaying it. Steel does have excellent wear resistance and strength, just a little trickier to like a heat treatment. So other than more like common blades, so. All right, here we go. Coming up on our list is number seven, and that is, well, you know now, the Bradford Guardian 3.5. I believe the Guardian 3 made it into our top knives last year at some point. You'd know so better than me. I feel like. I can't like, remember last I feel week. Like. And this has some of the same qualities as that one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. So this knife comes in several options, both in handle material, handle design, blade shape, and finishes, etc. We had the one we featured on the AK Blade Show, right? Mm -hmm. A while back. It's seven and a half inch overall with a three inch stonewashed finish N690 sheep's foot blade jimping of course with flat grind plain edge and is 0.15 inch thick handle is 3d od green micarta with a lanyard hole comes with a brown leather belt sheath perfect for horizontal carry and a plastic insert for the proper blade alignment forgot about they didn't forget about the two things you needed the mm -hmm. horizontal carry and that insert and this model is only $128.84, lionknife.com. Yeah, you can go first. Well, look, for a little bit smaller fixed blade, this is a nice knife. I like Bradford knives. Remember how I told you, this knife has felt like it fits your hand. Mm -hmm. Same as like one of the larger ones. I mean, got the same amount of room for my hand. Be easy to control, easy to cut. Nice knife. Yep, it's excellent hunting blades. It's got the horizontal carry, of course. Mm -hmm. Easy to grip handle. Sheep's foot blade is great for cutting and slicing. And because of the way it's shaped, you know, the straight edge front blade and the dull curve of the spine, when it meets the edge, you're less likely to accidentally pierce yourself with the point of the blade while you're working. Okay? Wow, pierce yourself. Yeah. You can also use this blade for well, any carving I can see when you're trying test. to cut through meat or whatever when you're hunting, you don't want to continuously, you know, you're less likely to do that if the blade's curved. Yeah, it's proven. I'm right there with you. Okay, go so, ahead. So, you can also use this blade for carving tasks or in a rescue situation. Since, you know, you're less likely to accidentally stab the person you're trying to cut out of, say, a seatbelt or clothing. Exactly. I think if you accidentally stab a person while you're trying to save them as, like, an EMT, you're probably on your last day as an EMT, yes? I think I want to use a Guardian I, to I cut somebody's clothing I don't know. Off. I feel like that would be a, mm, we're going to have to let you go. You stabbed someone. I'm going to ask if I can do that. I'm going to borrow this knife and go home. Can I cut your clothing off? Hopefully yep. it's your wife you're asking. It won't be my mother-in-law, that's oh, for sure. Why would you give me that imagery? Oh, well, you know what? We have to take a pause. When you said that, I just got my... We have to take a pause. <laughs> take a pause. <laughs> Wash out our that? eyes. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, there she that's was. That's great. All right. You just put your head on the bed. <laughs> good job, good it's job. A, okay. Well, this has practical carry options. Exactly. It's compact. Mm -hmm. However... Not as many universal uses as other shape blades. Yeah, you could always go with one of the like Warncliffe ones though. So. Mm. We're hitting number six now, and that is the EOS Mini Thresher. Save your complaints and applauses till later. Woo woo! So many options on this one. Okay, I love this knife. 
I mean, obviously, it's not your survival knife, but this is not what this is about. It's about fixed blades, best overall. So, you know, look at it. I'll let you go. You love this thing. Okay, so, so many options on this one. We're doing the newer models, of course, and I don't want to hear how this isn't super practical. I just don't want to hear it for <laughs> other than like a self-defense. I use this blade. It's awesome in look, and it's on the list. I think you cut somebody that you're going to jail. I'm sorry. Really? Probably. Well, don't you think it's worth it? <laughs> Mainly this. It might be. Oh, it's worth it. Yeah. All I right. saved my life. All right. So, never get between Joel yeah. and her mini thresher. You know that's right. So, coming in at seven and a half inches overall, this double-edged dagger style carry is ready whenever you are with the black aluminum handle. It's got a 3.6 black CM, P, C, CPM, CPM, CPM 3B, CPM 3B it. steel blade. I'm about to be like, <laughs> you know me. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> colored, gla colored glass breaker. So you got the spike or the nuck option. It's your choice. This mm -hmm. is the spike. Um, it's also got the Custom black Kydex belt sheath with the attachment here. Starts at only 194. From AtlanticKnife.com. I think it's clear that I like it. You have anything you want to add other than it's not what this is about. You can uh, take the handles off real, real easy to yeah. clean the blood under. Yeah. <laughs> We're like one of those covers of the metal albums. We're just taking the handles off to clean the blood off. Oh wow. Yes, right. extremely popular, looks cool, and it's got great blade steel and design. In other words, Michael Jackson, it's bad. Nothing else to add. Got to have some on the list. You have to have it on the list. That brings us to number five on our top ten best fixed blades of 2021. Oh, but first. But first. Wait a minute, this is four. Crap, <laughs> I'm sorry. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring that bell. Also, you're connected with the best knife content around. And so you can be entered into our giveaways. Speaking of giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, we reached the end of the Max Ace Max Out XL giveaway. Hey Cares, we thank you so much for the comments, the likes, the trivia and question answers. You guys are just awesome, okay? Mm -hmm. We know everyone likes free stuff, but... In the words of the Highlanders tagline, there can only be one. Yep. So, the river is, I'm sorry. It just, it, it, the winner is. The winner is. Walter Brown. Oh my gosh, you remembered it? Yes. I was thinking Bill. Bill. <laughs> no, it's Walter Brown. All right. And go Ooh. ahead. Congrats to you, Mr. Brown. Or, I'm not sure. Make sure to email Wendy. You've got mail. At sales at AtlanticKnife.com. Sales at AtlanticKnife.com. To claim your Max Ace XL prizes. I said it's slow. I got you. Yeah. I know you go pop it on the screen. Yeah. Just to confirm, there is no bucket hat. <laughs> okay? No bucket hat. A bucket hat does not exist in this dojo. And That's if what you'll it be did, getting, you know? Camera Girl Z was going to steal it anyway. So. That's great. She didn't steal it this time. Oh, I touched my nose. You know what that means, don't you? Uh, you're that signifies lying. a lie. But I didn't yes. lie. I promise. I guessed it. Actually, you know what? Now you mentioned mine's No kind of bucket hat didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Okay. okay, go ahead. No bucket. Okay, back to number five. And that is a three way tie. Oh, man. We didn't agree on this. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, so the three way tie. This is long, drawn out. You might want to skip it if you don't want to listen to it. But here, don't skip it. Here, here's my argument it's between the Civivi Tamashi, which we have, okay. the Civivi Kepler, and the Civivi Elementum. Now, these picks are all about the same in price quality and usability okay kepler is like longest at 9.9 .9. it's got a four inch 9 cr 18 mov sheep's foot blade handles g10 it's got extensive jipping lantern hole lantern comes with the black kydex sheath t-clip attachment cleaning cloth da, 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 da. tamashi most budget friendly at 66.50 from alarmknife.com it's 8.8 .8 overall four inch d2 satin finish blade g10 handles two options comes with the kydex sheath and finally there's the Civivi Fixed Elementum, so the extremely popular blade, Turn Fixed. It's got two options, one with D2, one with 10CR15 Camo V. Both have lanyard holes, lanyards, and kydex sheaths. Whew. Wow. All right. So look at the difference between five and nine. Not much, is there? Except for the jimping. That's how important jimping is to us. Okay, the Tamashi's number five. 
I will agree on that. I just think that what one lacks, the other one makes up for, okay? One's got a sheep's foot, so you can't use it for as many things, and it's kind of larger, so not as compact. This is compact and lighter, a little more budget-friendly, but doesn't have all the extras. That would say the Kepler does. The Civivi Lamentum is this great size, but it's a little more in price, and you can get one of the cheaper steels on it. I, they just kind of balance each other out, so that's why I was saying three-way tie. I just couldn't narrow it down, okay? I was trying to be unbiased after the EOS and the Boker, okay? I was trying. The, Go ahead. The Tamashi's number five. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. It's okay. Yeah. Hey, look, I know you're trying to be unbiased, but if you got to give that much explanation, Tamashi's number five. Okay, so we've entered the countdown. Number four. Luckily, I'm right this time. It's four. We've got the SOG Pentagon FX Covert. This discreet carry mm -hmm. is seven and a half inches overall with a three and a half inch tinei or titanium nitride coated double-edged cryo like ted williams head s35 vn full tang stainless blade yes it is turbocharged on this model and has an easy to remove black g10 handles and mm -hmm. we know why comes with a minimalist grn sheath compatible with sog universal mounting system. That's great. Like how it broke out now? Yes. I didn't want to go with studies and observation group. <laughs> this concealable carry can stay as stay as, as is. is yeah. Or you can strip it down to a sleeker and lighter duty knife. Yep, and it's only $189.95 at alandknife.com. And there's the sign that proves it. Yep, so this one's modeled after SOG's most infamous knife, second most infamous knife, the Pentagon. Fixed blade really thought about what tactical really meant. This knife more mm -hmm. has, it's more than seals or special forces in mind, okay? It's got the high-end materials, which means it's not going to crap out on you when you're using it. It's got the different configurations, so you can attach it to anything, anywhere. See anything to add? The only thing I could say is that I like it a lot. The Pentagon itself is an awesome knife, and we sell tons of them, but it's big. It is big. I mean, it's like... 11, if you want to attach it to your vest, you can just do it yeah, real quick. Yeah, it's more, not going to weigh too uh, much. Usable. Exactly. And huh? you can easily clean it. I mean, some people just don't like all the extras. They just want a knife. So you can take the, the scales off. Bam. There it is. Gotcha. All right. That's why it's number four. Number three is the Fall Niven F1. few different models for this one, including the F1X, which is the one we chose specifically. Mm-hmm. Okay, we chose together. Design based upon one's needs. This knife is 8.63 inch overall with a 4 inch satin finished laminated cobalt steel blade. There's a black grippy <laughs> thermal <laughs> handle. Did you do like a hey, DJ move? I read it as it's written. With oh. lanyard hole and full extended tang. You know what? Mm -hmm. If I wrote this, they had to stop watching hours ago. Really? Yes. Or it would be beep, 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 <laughs> beep. <laughs> Beep beep. No, it wouldn't have much detail and it wouldn't sound as yeah, coherent. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I think it's the word we would use. Okay. Lastly, it's got a black Zytel belt sheath with stainless clip. And if you put it in right, it'll go in just fine. There it is. And that's locking it. Look at that. I like it. It's nice. All right. So. Okay. I usually like a lot of options and colors. Mm -hmm. However, however, yeah. This blade is beautiful in its simplicity. I think yeah, I yeah, push it. it. No, you got it. I did? Yeah, it's a little pull. There you okay, go. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm Once you it. pull it up a little bit. I'm with it. I got gotcha. you. It's got a little thing That's why when you're so just pulling pull on it, it's not... So you gotta, I gotcha. That's I told nice. you I picked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I liked all the care that went in designing it. Obviously, once you use it more, you'll understand how mm -hmm. it comes out of the sheath properly. I haven't used it out of the sheath properly, so... Laminate steel is at least 20% stronger than a solid stainless steel. Not to mention this guy's made in Sweden. So What? Old grandfather country of great handmade knives. Mm -hmm. Although I think I mentioned last time that I wasn't crazy about the Thermo Run handle. Mm -hmm. However, I've grown to appreciate it. It's very insensitive to chemicals like DEET. So when you're out hunting and you drump it on there, it's not going to smell like it. Like if you get stung by a skunk, you got to go take a tomato bath. You don't need it. 
as well as water <laughs> and heat aging. So, I don't know what you just said. Like, if you, if you get sprayed by a skunk, you have to go oh. and bathe yourself in tomato multiple times. I thought you said stung If by you drop skunk. some DEET on this, you can just wash it off and it won't smell. Oh. That's what that's, that's what they're saying. That's what's good about I, I'm, Thermo I'm right there with you. Jeez. I'm right there with you. I think this is one of the best file nibbing knives in a while. And I like their knives because of the, not only is it a good size, it's a good weight. It's not a four ounce knife. What is it? Probably eight, nine. Mm, closer to that, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, look how thick that is. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. Pretty much anything you need to. I mean, it's a good all around knife if you only had one knife. So this is my, I am lost in the woods and I don't have a ride coming knife. You don't have a ride coming? No, I might have to be out there a while. Wow. I want this one. All right. And... It starts at only $199.84 from Atlantic Knife. There it is. Com. Porcupine comes at me. You I can, can just throw it. You can just throw. Oh, I don't know if I'd be doing that. I ain't gonna try cutting. Okay. <laughs> Number two on the list is the Joker Ember Bushcraft. Mm -hmm. As you all recall, we really liked this blade. An excellent pick for our top fixed blade list. Mm -hmm. So it is 8.75 inches overall. 4 inch satin finish Sandvik 14C 28 end drop point blade. Handle is curly birch wood and has the lanyard hole. Lanyard. Fire starter. Hold on. There it is. What? 2.6 meters, I think, of extra paracord, if I'm not mistaken, and a brown leather belt sheet. You know, it's funny. Yeah. I just remember when I said I'd throw it at him, you kind of laughed. <laughs> you remember when I, I threw that hammer at that mouse? I went with you. That was somebody else. <laughs> All right. You threw a hammer at a teeny At my mother-in-law's house. It was under a box. Reach your lips down to the It was cool under blue a box. Water. Bam! Bam! A hammer hits you in the head. You're squashed. <laughs> Do you care what kind of pants he's wearing? Khakis. <laughs> Never mind. This full tang blade, designed and made in Sweden. We are so Spain. Off topic. You know what? Spain. We wouldn't blame you if you just rewinded a little bit and watched it again. Spain. Comes in two versions. Oh my goodness. Go ahead. Scandinavian. Yes. Grind and flat blade. Either one will have you singing show tunes throughout <laughs> the bush or your backyard. And it's only 138.84. At or from AtlanticKnife.com. I think the look of this knife is insane. Okay, gorgeously made. The curly birch wood is to die for. The blade and its grind handle. All of it. It handles like a car on rails. You just, you're just going to slice right through whatever you need. See, this is my like butter. weekend, go out in the woods, I'm not getting lost knife. You can get lost. I got a ride. I'm going to be there all weekend. Make got everything little, I need right put there. Put a little compass on there, then you won't in get lost. In case I lose that little thing, I, I'll make it to Monday. It's strapped in there. I'll look. make it to Monday. See? Look. It's in there. Yep. Yeah. And the Joker, look at the little Joker emblem on the fire starter. Mm -hmm. That's it's very what I light, like. too. I look like how light that is. Can nice you see it? Yes, good. Okay. All right. Okay, we've reached it. After, already? After much, after already? What do you mean? We've been talking so long. We're like, just get to it. We? All right. Touche. We reached it. The number one best fixed blade of 2021, and that is. Oh, want me to say it? Yep. Well, I think they know if they watched the beginning. Because we named all the... Oh, you're going to play what we yeah. did play last time. Torfield 2.0! Okay. What? For Go ahead, you, you can that yell have, this. have doubts, we know there are some of you. There always mm -hmm. are. We have good reasons. Hear us out. First, this knife is amazingly made and high quality. Mm -hmm. Every part on this knife is made in San Diego. It's got a four and a half inch gray finish. CPM 154 CM steel drop point blade. With the KG green. Go ahead. Gun coat. Kelly Heat green. treatment. Yeah. Dynamic walnut fluted handle for enhanced grip. So nice. And copper liners. I've got to be honest with you. I'm partial to copper. Yeah. Second, it comes with all the extras like stickers, uh, cleaning cloth, the box, leather sheath, mm. frog lube. It's also got the jimping people. Perfect design for long-term hold and use. Jimping and frog lube. I mean, come on. Can't. That's my Saturday night. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Keep going. You're trying to be, you're trying to be, you try to take to a de uh, what about, bad place, aren't you? What about outdoors? Yes. <laughs> it also takes you, takes on the outdoors with panache. <sighs> yeah. 
just I'm Joel left a piece of a uh, tour equipment. Really? That's what you're going to bring outside right for several days. More like a couple of weeks, I think. Hey. It wasn't weeks. She came back, looked exactly as as it came out the box. No rust, no issues, that nothing. That was I told you and the boss that was a test of durability and rust resistance. Mm -hmm. Four dollars test. Yes. It was right. well worth it because look, now we can say we've tested the tour stuff <laughs> and it is up there. Yeah, nobody took it either. I couldn't believe it. Okay, finally. All right. This is a big one for this year. Yep. 100% handmade, handmade in the in USA. USA. All the way down to the screws. See, that was the tipping point right there. Had the jimping, had copper, and USA. And the awesome. I mean, look, at the sheep. look all the sheep. Look yeah. The sheep. Everything. It it's two ninety five. I get it. Atlanta.com. Okay. But we, we didn't take into account. We took it a little bit into account. A little bit. A little bit. That's so if I like it, I like it. Exactly. And there it is. If you like it, you like it. We Give think it it's well worth it. Okay? Price and the number one title. So congratulations, Tor. Excellent work. You won C over. Since that was our last blade, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. You can also reach your AK content down to the videos and giveaways. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. We release new photos, daily website deals, and more all the time. So make sure to catch up with us on there. Close out the show and do our honorable mentions. So, some knives that we consider for the list just didn't make the cut. Go. Tops Hornero. Steel Wheel Fervor. The Cold Steel Mini Leather Necks in Kyoto 1 Kaiser Baby. The Bastion Tellum. K-Bar Space Bar. The Spyderco Nightstick. Tor Knives, Cryptia, Serpent, Anaconda. And finally, the NC Custom Spectre Dagger. Mm. Though we're still unsure if that was new to us for this year or new to the year period. Mm -hmm. Either way, it's on the list now. So thanks for checking out our Top 10 Best Fixed Blades of 2021 video. Make sure to keep an eye out as the big one is still coming. The Top 10 Best Knives? Nick Knives of 2021? With that. I'm seeing this is... Jewel. Just Joel, and we're signing off.